What is up, YouTube? Here, man, that's just, I just keep ruining these. <laughs> All right, what is up, YouTube? Day after Christmas, feeling uh, not too bad, right? Now, check it out, got another new shirt I got on for Christmas. This is like a little like sweater thing, not too toned, but I'm digging it. I'm digging it, a little different, a little change up, goes good with the hat. Yeah, day after Christmas, I know my diet hasn't been the best, but um, let's see where I'm at, all right? Ugh, not, ah, as good as I'd like to be, but uh, it is what it is, um, you know, my diet hasn't necessarily been, you guys know, the best, but um, I had ice cream yesterday and stuff, but I figured today's the best day to hop back on that wagon. So uh, yeah, things are great, guys. I put that Christmas video out yesterday, and the amount of love and support on that video is incredible. So once again, thank you guys for that. I actually need to go right now to the store because, hold up, shipping room. Well, it gives like a weird blue glow in here. I'm out of boxes, right? So I need to go. Had some orders fill up over uh, the holidays, people buying stuff, which is always cool. Thanks for the support, guys. RJFitApparel.com, I always appreciate it. So I gotta go get some boxes at the store. There we go. always on the search for good lighting, right? That's the downside. People don't understand like when you're making videos, like see how this like lights behind me and how you can't see me? You always gotta be on the lookout for like light behind you that washes out the camera, but then I turn around, it's fine, right? Crazy how that works, isn't it? Um, not gonna be a crazy day, I don't really have anything planned. It's the day after Christmas. So, basically today I'm gonna focus on getting my diet back on track. You know, getting caught up on some work and stuff. I worked yesterday, got that, oh yeah, and I gotta get the elf video out today. If you're gonna be watching this, that elf video's already been out, so. In the event you see this and don't watch the elf video, please watch it, I'll put the link in the description. Watch that video, because I already know without even editing it that it's gonna be one of the funniest things I've ever done. <sighs> yeah, just uh, feeling good, guys. I feel, I feel great. I feel extremely satisfied with life right now. I don't know if it's the uh, bad food <laughs> I've been eating. That's probably not that, or if it's just the uh, uh, just uh, how how satisfied I am with all my relationships right now and stuff, you know. Um, things are good. I had a great Christmas, great holiday. Can't uh, can't ask for any more blessings. So I know I'm talking your ear off right now, but I wanted to give a quick shout out to a company that's uh, sent me some free pre workout, right? And I've been using it, and I really do enjoy the stuff. It works really well, and I'm gonna put in some future videos so you guys can see uh, some like workouts while I'm on it. Check this out. We have F16 by MB Nutrition. I know you can probably see that, but let me, let me just read this to you, right? MB Nutrition was founded in Jacksonville, Florida for one reason, to provide the perfect supplement. Hey, bold claims there, MB Nutrition. I like it. Hey, if you're gonna do something, you better try to be the best at it. Sincerely, Mike and Ben from MB Nutrition. So, F16, this thing hits like a F16. <laughs> So yeah, uh, I've been taking it for the last couple days. I just got it in the mail and I really do appreciate it for the free product. Now, now keep in mind, I always tell you guys, like I'm not gonna advertise for anything that I don't truly believe in. And this stuff is good. I put, I give it the, uh, I give it my seal of approval. So they're not paying me for this at all. You know, they reached out to me and said, hey, we like your channel. We like the vibe you have. We you know we believe in the good stuff, the positivity. We just wanna send you this for free. If you wanna put it in a video, you can. If you don't want to, you don't have to. But I'm just giving a shout out to these guys because you know, um, I believe that we all get better together, right? Life, life's about helping people not being greedy and you know I'm just gonna put the link to their product in the description if you want to check it out go for it I've definitely been taking it and I definitely like it so shout out to those guys thank you so much for your product like I said they're not paying me for this or anything I'm just doing this because I'm showing support because we all got to work together if we're gonna be successful right so anyways I know I'm ranting I need to get to the store to pick up some boxes and I have a Starbucks gift card I might get some coffee too so I'll take you guys with me let's do it Gotta love backup cameras. Oh, come on. Come on. I'm giving you guys my view. <laughs> oh, the trash cans. Whoa. Okay. I think we got it. What a nasty day outside, guys. This is this is what Ohio's like, guys. Lots of rain, lots of dreary. Look at that. I'm just waiting for the four horsemen of the apocalypse to come raining down on us. <laughs> Oh man, but here's the thing, right? You can let days like today, some people say, oh, the weather's crappy, they get in a bad mood. Like, come on, the weather shouldn't dictate your mood. Throw that smile on and get out there. Tell a joke, 
you know, do what you got to do. Put your seatbelt on too, apparently. Oh, that commenter is going to be back in the comments telling me safety first. <laughs> All right, I'm going to put my seatbelt on. I'll see you guys at Kroger. And per Christmas cheer, <laughs> Christmas cheer, we still have these uh, gift cards I haven't spent a dollar on. So I don't even really need a coffee because I just took a dry scoop of <laughs> the F-16 and I'm pretty wired, but I think I'm going to add some uh, coffee on top of that. So why not see if they like my currency here? I always roll up really rich. I'm like, give me the most expensive coffee you have. I'm like, sir, that's gonna cost this much money. I'm like, ah, put it on a card. <laughs> All right, let's do it. All right, last time I was here, they were sold out of boxes. Let's see. All right, you need to get out of the way. Move you. Ooh, what do we got? What do we got? Dollar. I think these are what I need. You always gotta make sure because these come in so many different dimensions. So I was fold them. Yep, that's what I need. So we'll go ahead and get, looks like they only have two, so two it is. Did I leave it? <laughs> I left it sitting here. See guys, if I wouldn't have remembered this, this could have started a riot. One person would have found it, they would have started fighting, there would have been a blood feud over this valuable commodity. <laughs> Hello. Um, let me do, I have a gift card, so I feel like I gotta spend it, right? Um, man, actually, I'm gonna do an iced coffee. I never do iced coffee. Let's do a grande. I just had caffeine, so I probably don't need too much more. Is that all? That is it, yeah. It'll be 275. Those look good, don't they? About a thousand calories good. Yeah. I just really don't... Like, a uh, heavy creamer? No, we don't have heavy creamer. It's all good. Iced coffee. Yeah, iced coffee. Black. <laughs> Hold the, hold the flavor. Thank you so much. You too. Bingo. Hi. Pretty good. How are you? All right. Two boxes. Thank you so much. You too. Want a bag or anything? Honest. Football one here. We do. Coffee. This. Thank you so much. You guys want a quick glimpse of what I had last night to end off Christmas? So uh, check this out, caramel and chocolate ice cream with chocolate cookie swirls and gobs of chocolate chip cookie dough and peanut butter cookie dough. This, I mean, I don't watch that show at all. I mean, I'm sure he's a cool dude, but this was probably some of the best ice cream I've ever had. So I'm not saying go get a pint, but if you're holding off till January 1st or 2nd to start those New Year's resolutions, then uh, right before you <laughs> sign up for a plan with me, Go get yourself a pint of this and slay it. I'm telling you, mm, this was just, this was just, yeah. Didn't last long. Didn't have a fighting chance. He shoots. Um, he scores. All right, so this apparel order calls for a large Team RJF shirt. Throw you in there. And then also a black Team RJF snapback. Once again, even if you don't wear snapbacks, I understand, but these are like the highest quality I could find. I'm telling you, these are the exact same quality as some of the big name hat brands that I've wore. I made sure I sourced these goods. So premium snapback. So throw that in there. One size fits all. And man, that's the order. So we're gonna seal this bad boy up and take her to the post office. Oh, and for the record, um, plain black iced coffee from Starbucks, not bad. <laughs> I was kind of joking that it wasn't gonna have any flavor and I mean it tastes still like coffee, but I like the iced portion of it. Way easier to drink, sip on it, pinky out. Sophisticated guys, this is a sophisticated way to have your coffee. My mind's blown right now guys. Lifestyle change, mindset shift, game changer. All right guys, for some reason it's Monday, but I'm thinking post office is closed there's nobody here so let's see what they have to say what customer notice do we got are we open no well I'll be I'll be there's definitely no one here well hey guys if we if we learned anything from this the local post office is also a fallout shelter so hey you know where to come so Jacob I'm gonna apologize I don't know what is up with the post office they must be closed the day after Christmas too so no idea, but I guarantee I will ship this out tomorrow for you. First thing, I promise. So sorry for the delay, but I tried. There's video evidence of me trying. Anyways, back to the house. Start get to editing on the elf video. You guys are gonna love it. I promise. <laughs>
<laughs> Stay tuned. All right, guys. So here's Chipotle here. I'm not even going to uh, drive by it. I was going to try to, but it, look out. Look at these lines, right? Everybody's got their gift cards from uh, Christmas. But basically, I was going to go to Chipotle and grab a little bite before I started editing so I have all these gift cards and stuff, you know, get a nice low-carb meal, some protein. But I could see that the line was all the way to the door and past it, right? And, like, look at this. You can see the people trying to pull out of here. There's just these massive lines here. So... Honestly, like I want Chipotle, right? And it would save me a little bit of time on cooking, but I'm not waiting 30 minutes, right? That's the thing, you gotta you gotta figure out your time value proposition, right? Is something really worth your time? Is it, I mean, yeah, a meal I don't have to cook, but is it worth my time to wait in line for 30 minutes in that crazy Chipotle line? You know, like I just, you know, prioritizing. So giving up on the little things, kind of the bigger picture, getting this video out, getting this content created, keeping track of my goals is far more important to me. So uh, adios Chipotle, you're not worth my 45 minutes today. <laughs> Oh, you know, guys, just sitting here editing the elf video. It's about 1.15. Check out my Star Wars game right there, Dota 2 Stanley Parable. For those of you gamers, that's nice for the Old Republic, by the way. Um, I'm sitting here now. Troy's getting ready to stop by to pick up a couple books from me that he's going to borrow. So um, back when I first got into, like, right when I started the YouTube channel and stuff, I was on a pretty big uh, self-improvement kick, right? And I read a lot of stuff, trying to get my mind right, you know, and uh, just kind of like the mindset shift I always talk about, right? And I, I looked and Googled a bunch of books that a lot of your Fortune 500 CEO guys recommended that they read just really good self-improvement books right I'm letting Troy borrow a couple of those that I've already read so I'm just gonna show you guys for those of you interested in maybe just having a mindset shift or working on your people skills or just trying to change the way you think to try to think more positive and to try to I don't know go after goals just a, just a different way of doing things if you um if you're interested at all these are the books that I'm about he's about to come pick up we got how to Win Friends and Influence People, the only book you need to lead you to success by Dale Carnegie. It's been out for over 75 years and a ton of successful entrepreneurs have read it. Um, it's not just some gimmicky thing on how to like um, fake and be cool to people. It's uh, literally like, I don't know, it just teaches you how to talk and how to act and just a better way to be kind of thinking before you speak and stuff lots of good tips in here guys so very good book here and then this one think and grow rich most influential success book now another thing you guys might think oh we just want to read that to make money it's not even about that it's about leveraging your thought process to make the most out of any situation and learning that you don't have to stick to the norm and you know you can literally think and grow rich because your mind is the most powerful tool you have but it's not even rich in the sense like a monetary sense it's just rich in happiness, rich in satisfaction, rich just in every other part of your life. So the money is just kind of a side effect of it. So anyways, two influential books here that really helped whoop, shape my thought process and who I am today. So Troy's getting ready to come pick these up and uh, I'm gonna run them out to him. He's here. I told the people you were stopping by. What's happening? Say what's up to the people. What's up, peoples? Here you go. I appreciate it, sir. Ho do. Hopefully you get as much use out of them as I have. I was just looking at this one today. Right, I, yeah, oh yeah, I didn't even tell you I'm giving you the other one, but yeah, yeah those awesome. are both amazing, man. I read those like a year ago, changed my life. Awesome, I hope they do the same for me. All right, brother, awesome. hey, have a good day, big dog. You too, buddy. See you, ma'am. All right, guys, meal one today, we got ourselves a bag of green peas, we got six eggs and some salsa. So back on that grind, I know it's hard to do after the holidays, but we are getting back to it. So meal one, about 2 p.m., breaking my fast with this. I wanna get this down, that way I can go finish this edit, start the rendering process, and then I have some fish. It was frozen, so I got it thawing here in some warm water so I can cook it here in a little bit. And just a quick note before you get all mad, leave a comment and hit the dislike button. Some people say you should never thaw your fish or your frozen meats this way because it leads to bacteria and stuff. I've done it a million times and I've never gotten sick from it. So, um, I mean, I'm, I'm not saying that you're not gonna get sick, I don't know, but I personally have done this and have never, ever, ever had an issue with it. Even with my last cut over the summer, when I ate fish every single day, I thawed it every time like this. And Never a problem, so just uh, just my two cents. Anyways, eat this, back to work, edit, and then I'll be back here in a little bit. 
All right, guys, ready for meal number two. Just finished the render on the elf video. It is gonna be so funny. I just cannot wait for you guys to watch it, but we got three fillets here. I'm gonna weigh them out after I cook them to make sure they fit my goals, but got my pan preheated. We put some uh, spray on it. Sit these on here. Now, fish cooks really fast, guys. This is cod, by the way. So put this cod on here. Nice. All right. Then what I usually do, I'll grab my seasonings here, put a little dash on them. There we go. That'll be good enough for me. Cover it to let them cook through. And that is that. All right, guys, I just flipped them and added seasoning to the other side. These are very simple to cook. So we probably got about four minutes each side and these are gonna be good to go. So cover them back up, let them cook all the way through and I'll be back for a taste test. All right, weighed this fish out here. We have about 273 grams. That's gonna be 272, make your mind up, which is about 10 ounces if you do the conversion. So we got 10 ounces of cod here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a taste test. All right, guys, here we go. Look at my cod here. I decided not to add any sides with it. This is 10 ounces of protein. I'm gonna save some of my veggies for later. That way I can feel more full. It's always harder after the holidays because what happens is, right, is you have a lot more sodium, if you've been dieting, you have a lot more sodium than you used to, a lot more carbs, a lot more sugar, and in turn, your body's holding a lot of water. And I'm gonna make a video about water retention and bloat after a cheat meal and you know what you should expect and stuff like that here soon. But really, like, afterwards, the best way to get back on track is to just cut down on the salts, cut down on the sugar, get back on track as soon as you can because your body right now, I know mine is, is just, I'm just fluffy, I just feel, like, I don't know, my face feels fluffy, holding a lot of water, and it's not so pronounced in someone that eats bad all the time because their body's used to it, but especially if you've been dieting and you are on like very low sodium and very low sugar, introducing all that into your system will cause you to gain a lot of weight. I know I'm probably up like seven, eight pounds from where I really should be, just holding on to water. So the best way I think to detox off of this stuff is to just eat a lot of vegetables and a lot of protein the following days and it just kind of, a lot of water, cleanse your system out. So no veggies with this, but I'm gonna load up on veggies in a later meal, that way I'm more full later on at night because I notice, at least with me, the day after, two days after I've been eating bad, especially if I've been eating bad for a stretch, those are the hardest days. But once you get that sugar detox out of your system, you're good to go. So veggies help aid sun with making you feel full. Anyways, taste test. So let's go here and do, I haven't had cod in a while actually. Let's grab a piece here. All right, we ready? Let's do it. Yep, good. I mean, it's not ice cream or cookies like I've been having, but uh, definitely hits the spot. So I'm gonna sit here and eat this, maybe throw a little salsa on it, who knows. So, so far today, guys, you guys have seen my, uh, my meals. I've had six eggs, a bag of peas, and 10 ounces of white fish. So, uh, and it is 5 p.m., so I'm about to eat this, go put the video, start the YouTube upload, head to the gym, bust out a back workout, burn off some of these Christmas carbs, and then I will come back and, uh, yeah, we'll keep this vlog going. I'm probably not gonna go, I'm probably not gonna film my workout today simply because my last vlogs have all been like really intense workouts and you've just kind of seen a lot of workout stuff. So we'll keep this one a little simple. It is the day after Christmas, guys. Told you I was taking it easy. So I'm gonna eat this, I'll be back. What is up guys? Just finished editing, rendering the elf video. It is uploading to YouTube right now. So I'm gonna go to the gym, get my workout in for the day and you know, workout attire. I don't even need a jacket though because it's warm for some reason in Ohio. It makes no sense. Global warming is a thing, people. <laughs> it's gotta be a thing. So I'm gonna quit rambling. I'm gonna go to the gym. I'm gonna kill this workout and I will be back to uh, keep this show a rolling, guys. See you soon. Workout is done. I am. Look at that. Sweaty, but look at that. Ugh. I can definitely tell I got those Christmas carbs in me, for sure. Ooh, let's see if you can see it a little better here. Definitely ugh, feeling pumped, feeling full today. I don't even want to weigh myself, but ugh, feeling uh feeling good. So mobilizing some of those carbs. Best way to detox is to get in here, kill it, and put all that food to work. So, anyways, time to go. Alright guys, we are gonna try Chipotle round two. So 
like I said, it's all about your uh, the time you're willing to commit to stuff, right? So um, if I drive, I have all these gift cards, by the way. That's why I'm doing Chipotle. Still can get myself, stick to my goals, healthy diet, carb cycling, blah, blah, blah. Can do all that with it. I kind of just want to get rid of these gift cards that way when I start. January 2nd, I really start cutting for March, our uh, vacation we're planning for Miami, me and my boys. Um, you know, I can just kind of have all these out of the way. <laughs> I'm not tempted by these gift cards to go crazy. I can really like, you know, because I, I like going to Chipotle, but I can stick to my goals. But like really the best progress I get is when I weigh out and cook all my food because the sodium levels or lower everything like that but anyways rambling it's all about your time commitment like if i go there and it's literally like lying to the door and i gotta wait 30 40 minutes to get my food not worth it to me because i don't like the time is the most valuable asset you will ever have in your life so one don't let people waste your time two if you're not in the middle of the desert and there's only one chipotle for miles around and that's the only food available you can eat somewhere else or you can make your own food so anyways we're gonna go see if uh, chipotle is good now i have my doubts and in the scene get a big hit in the pool I seen her, I knew she had to go I seen her All right, see, check this out, guys How we looking? How we looking? See that? Right back to the door You see that? Yep, that is literally not worth my time So, we're heading home Because that's literally a half hour That's a half hour I can spend doing cardio Half hour I can spend editing Half hour I can spend working on client plans that's a half hour I could put towards anything else but waiting in a line. So I have food at home, I can cook it, gift cards can wait. Oh, just got back from the gym and video's live guys. You guys are about to witness it. So I realized that uh, this might not be the uh, video for you. You might not like this style of content, this funny, humorous stuff, but uh, man, I love to laugh and I think this stuff is hilarious. And you know what? If you're laughing, you're happy. And that's, I wanna be happy, right? My, my goal in this life, everything I do, every tiny little thing I do is ultimately in the end set up to make me a happier person to make my life better, right? So um, if you don't laugh at this, then something's wrong. You need to go <laughs> see a doctor and get checked out. I think they make medication for that. <laughs> or if you're working out, that too, that, that can probably help. But if you don't find this stuff funny, then uh, I don't know what to tell you. So I'm gonna get this live for you guys right now and then uh, hop on. I'm gonna do 40 minutes of cardio, come back and look at the comments and see how people like it. So it's always the scariest part launching a video because uh, I put my heart and soul and every ounce of me into every video I do and I sit and I grind and I edit, you know. Average edit takes me three to four hours depending. And um, it's always crazy, you know. You always hope that people don't like it. And you know, and as much as, uh, you know, I, I average maybe three or four dislikes per video, over 200 likes easy per video. So I think I'm doing something right, but uh, it always breaks my heart to see those dislikes because I always wonder, you know, I wonder I wonder what I did or what I said that made someone not like it, you know? Um, but I think what I've kind of attributed some of those to is people that find my channel through, let's say, a uh, cook, like a shopping video, right? And I just go shopping, right? It's like a meal prep video. And then they come and they, they come to the vlogs and they just don't like that style of content. So they dislike it is what I assume. And that's, I guess that's the positive way of thinking about it instead of some some haters out there right so uh, that's the justification I use in my head but anyways god I ramble guy I don't realize how much I ramble so I'm editing back and I'm like man ramp speed this up <laughs> so yeah I'm gonna launch this and then cardio I'll be back and cardio is complete look at this I did 45 minutes today because I had to finish watching a video but uh yeah feeling wet <laughs> So what I'm gonna do now is go try it is 920 and I haven't even eaten after my workout my post-workout meal So what I'm gonna do is try to go back to Chipotle They close at 10 see if I can somehow avoid a line if there's another line I I might wait this time because all my work's done videos uploaded and everything, but uh, we'll see so I need to shower Rinse off polish up the car <laughs> And then uh, yeah, we'll, we'll try Chipotle again. Why not guys gift cards, right? Why not? Hmm how are we looking? It's ever looking pretty good. You are not gonna cut me off. No line, we good. All right guys, just left Chipotle, walking out now. I thought about taking my camera in, but I figured that <laughs> you guys have seen so much Chipotle in the last few vlogs, so, because of these gift cards. So I'm gonna spare you the experience and I will, uh, I will tell you what I got. To, uh, I'll tell you, why not? Um, it's basically the same, double chicken, double chorizo, fajita veggies, tomato, green sauce, guacamole, lettuce. That's it, that's it. So keeping it low carb, we're back on that low carb day. And um, you know, I didn't really eat a ton today. This burritos, or this bowl is probably gonna be a decent little chunk of calories. But um, for the most part, like I said, we had the six eggs in the morning, we had the green peas, um, we had the 10 ounces of fish, and then we're gonna have, you know, four servings, uh, two servings of chicken, two servings of chorizo, more protein, and then, you know, some veggies with the fajitas and tomato and stuff. So back on that low carb grind. I was feeling a little puffy today in the gym. My pump 
was good, but I was holding a lot of water. I could, I could feel that. So we're uh, on the detox mode now. So anyways, guys, I'm going to cut this vlog off right here because I'm going to go home, eat this, and check out uh, what some of you guys have to say about the Elf video. So, ooh, blurry. Ugh, I hate it when it, see, it's the downside of this camera. It defocuses a lot in this car. Boy, we're pulling up at a light. We'll do it the right way. And there we go. I'm in a red light. So it's probably like the most dangerous thing in the world, right? <laughs> that's a, that's how I'm gonna go, you guys. The videos are just gonna stop one day, and it's gonna be like a YouTube vlogger tragically was in an accident, <laughs> vlogging while driving. Who'd have thought? <laughs> so yeah, guys, I'm gonna cut this vlog off right here. So hopefully you enjoyed this content. As always, I appreciate the support. You guys uh, motivate me to keep on going. So and you motivate me, and so I try to motivate you. Hopefully, and uh, <laughs> yeah. So um. Thanks a lot, as always, guys. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. That helps me grow, helps bring people to my channel. You know, comment. Let me know how you feel. The first comment, Grim Gamer's beating all you guys in the comment section. The first, he's got, he's got the record. So I want to see some of you guys turn those notifications on and see if you can't take first from him because he's just killing it right now. Killing the game. So anyway, shout out Grim Gamer, by the way. Anyways, I am out of here, guys. I, I always, these always go on so much longer because I don't, I don't properly finish. So I will see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to smile, remain positive, pay somebody a comment because you never know whose day you could be making better. And with that, I am out of here. See ya. <laughs>